Hello. Our devotion for today is titled, Following the Lord. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 31 through 43. Jesus foretells his death a third time. And taking the twelve, he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything that is written about the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be delivered over to the Gentiles, and will be mocked and shamefully treated and spit upon. And after flogging him, they will kill him, And on the third day he will rise. But they understood none of these things. This saying was hidden from them, and they did not grasp what he said. Jesus heals a blind beggar. As he drew near to Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what this meant. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And he cried out, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. And those who were in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and commanded him to be brought to him. And when he came near, he asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, Recover your sight. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. It is recorded in verse 34, they did not grasp what was said. It might be comforting for us to know that the disciples had difficulty understanding. They had trouble comprehending what was most important, that the Son of Man had to suffer and would be killed for our salvation. We, too, often find it difficult to understand this. Now, we understand that God exists. We may even experience, in a powerful way, his love for all that is just and good. And we know what he expects of us. So we draw the conclusion that we should live righteously if we want to have anything to do with him. So when we meet Christ and see how he embodies everything that is love and benevolence, we follow him joyfully, thinking that is precisely what he wants us to do. We should do what he says and live as he lives. This must be the right way to God. That's precisely what the disciples were thinking on their way to Jerusalem. They didn't understand what he meant when he said that he would give his life as a ransom for many. Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Yet they knew they wanted to follow him, come what may. And through following him, they understood that they had been incapable of comprehending before, that they were able to see What happened to Jesus? They experienced what we also witness as we celebrate Lent and Easter. They were able to see how unreliable their own intentions were. They intended to be faithful to death, but they abandoned him and fled. They learned that they themselves had a debt they were incapable of paying and that their master was able to bear that debt for them. This is something we all realize if we follow Jesus. We need to really follow him and 
really desire to learn from him and to live as he lived. When we, without reservation, make kindness and love laws in our lives, then we begin to understand why our goodness and love are not the right way to God. That way ends before we reach the goal. An abyss separates us from God. Jesus alone is able to bridge the gap. And we don't understand this until our eyes are opened and we are able to see both what we ourselves were not able to do and we, what he has done for our sake in our place. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us. Here we sit like the blind man at the gates of Jericho, praying for your help. Lord, let us see what we would never see or understand if you did not touch our eyes. Help us to see ourselves in the light coming from your Father's throne. Help us to see you and all you have done in the clear light of Scripture so we understand what it means, why it was necessary, and what you have done. We pray that we may follow you and be disciples, that we may hear and see what we need most day by day. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.